What's going on today, guys? Primal Savage here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wave 2, uh, quote-unquote, I guess, of Legacy Beasts. Um, as you can tell, 90% of these are repaints. Um, obviously, Tarantulas being the new one, I'm probably going to save Tarantulas for last, and we're just going to kind of gloss over all of these. Also, Tarantulas being the only one that is not a retailer exclusive, the rest of these are buzzworthy Bumblebee repaints. Um, shout out to my buddy Mike, who is still currently hosting Stasis Lock. Um, he he picked uh, he picked all these up for me and got rid of the gold bug and the ransack from the four packs. So um, you know, just big thanks to him. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this going. So I definitely want to start off with uh, the Scorpidoc from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee um, four pack. Uh, this is like a pretty solid release. Like I, I end up liking this one a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, just because, like, I mean, I feel like Scorpion Hawk was probably the weaker of the Kingdom Deluxes. Uh, mostly because of, like, how he transformed, you know, like, this kind of uh, mess underneath here. I still have the cartoon head here. Um, but, man, like, something about it, like, I, I feel like maybe um, th th this is, like, more of a hybrid between, you know, cartoon and toy. Because, you know, the toy had more of a blue... Uh, plastic for the claws and things like that there where they decided to keep this this purple and this is a very nice purple almost kind of uh translucent it is translucent so it's like semi translucent uh purple plastic uh looks solid the black is nice um you know i'm kind of glad they, they kept it opaque and didn't try to replicate the toy with a like translucent black um, this is the third repaint we've gotten from this fella uh i, I really hope i mean i definitely want uh, the original orange toy colors. Uh, I would love to get that out of this mold. Um, I doubt we'll ever see it. I mean, it's a possibility, but it would still be, uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, just because I really, uh, would, would like to see that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe in a selects release, something like that. But I think the color layout is pretty good here. We got some purple on the, uh, the little, uh, pincer things little 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 bitey bites little biters so uh yeah um he comes with the b of course a little cyber b and you get the missiles and they actually have the little maximal logos on them which was accurate for the first couple of episodes of season one so i do like that they uh they put that in there um as like a little nod to that so you get you know the the maximals i think the the regular retail release of scorpionok has the predacon missiles so that's uh well and good and fun as well so let's take a look at him in robot mode. all right here he is in robot mode and again like nothing phenomenal nothing crazy uh just kind of what you would expect all the colors still you know still kind of stay the same uh, a little bland but uh you know i mean it is what it is um you know can't really complain too too much about it um i get that the reason why these have to be this translucent uh purple kind of wish they would have been black i mean they did kind of put some of the black paint apps up here just because the original toy were black but like otherwise like i'm not really going to make a big fuss out of it i do think the colors are still pretty sharp and uh, i do really like that cartoon head on it but it is a toy deco so let's go ahead and slide that off the ball joint and this uh this head i believe is uh, cast in this kind of translucent plastic. See how it kind of has some swirl to it? I don't know. I'd be careful. I wouldn't swap these heads out too terribly often. But uh, here is the uh, mutant mask slash toy head. So um, again, I was kind of like, I was kind of like not sure which one of these I wanted to go with just because, uh, um, you know, Sandstorm, I believe, only has the uh, the mutant head, and, um, I don't think, alright, let's just, I don't know if I'm pressing it in on the way, I don't know if it's just like a soft click in, I'm trying not to, like, force it, um, but anyways, uh, okay, there, it it's, it's definitely a, a, a tighter fit, you're supposed to feel that kind of, um, ball joint slide in there, alright, hopefully it doesn't break, I really don't want to replace this, don't want to have to replace it, although I don't know, I can't, I can't imagine being too incredibly expensive, but anyways, um, so Sandstorm came with this, and I kind of wanted to keep him with, like, being the only one that has this head for that kind of, like, heroic look, you know, um, even though it's, it's less heroic and more noble, I guess, would be the, uh, the proper words there, these bug legs still, 
uh, are somewhat problematic. But anyways, get it, get it all situated and sorted. So there we go. There he has the the uh, the mutant mask head. And I don't know. I dig it. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and like it, it honestly like it seems different enough to like where it would be like I don't know. His, you know it's its own character. I'm not sure what you'd call this particular one, or if he could just be like one of the scorpion drones from the Kingdom show, or, or what have you. But I'll figure out a spot for him. Uh, but yeah. So there's that. Just, uh, I guess, beware sliding this head on. Because, I mean, this is now like a pretty tight fit. Tighter than uh, than the uh, the toy head, that or the cartoon head, rather, that just came off. So I guess once it gives a lot of resistance, that's when you know it's popped on. But I don't know. I would still handle that with care, uh, personally. It's just me. Let's go on to the next one. All right, I really don't know what they're calling this guy, to be honest. I don't know if, it, if it's Sky Wasp. Maybe it's Sky Wasp, but uh, obviously based off of the Halloween Horror Con Waspinator um, and also the, the BotCon 2015 War Rooter. Um, I don't know if that was uh, the, like the Paralyzer. I don't think that was Paralyzer. I feel like I feel like Paralyzer was the, the, the white and pink one, so I don't know. Otherwise, it's our... Third uh, reuse of the Waspinator mold, and I honestly would not mind getting uh, a fourth using that white and pink um, color scheme from the War Rooter set. Uh, I think that would be cool. I think a Starscream Colors one would also be cool, which I kind of feel sort of that like the um, the the red War Rooter uh, from 2015 sort of invoked it had some Starscream Colors, but anyways. Um, so yeah, we get Sky Wasp here. Uh, that's just what I'm going to call it um, for the rest of this review, just because like, I don't even think I kept the paperwork um, from, from the four-pack. Uh, I just know Scorponok is uh, Scorponok, and he stays Scorponok. So uh, really nice translucent red wings here. So no kind of like crazy paint like uh, Buzz All came with from the uh, Walmart uh, exclusive line. So that's neat. Um, anyway, I think, I think he looks solid. Let's take a look at him in a robot mode all right so here we have sky wasp in robot mode and looking pretty sharp honestly i really do like these colors uh it also came with the um toy head that came on buzzsaw which i think i'm going to uh keep on buzzsaw uh obviously well i don't, th I don't think there was an option for for the buzzsaw head to change so that's that's fine altogether but i'm not going to put the toy head on um, Sky Wasp, just because I feel like, you know, uh, obviously the Halloween Horror Con was based on the Transmetal Waspinator, and it had that more kind of um, uh, head sculpt, this kind of looking head sculpt uh, here, and uh, I think that's just how I'm going to keep it. Uh, otherwise, really nice deco on this head sculpt. Let me just go ahead and zoom in, just so we can take a look at it. Come on. There we go. Looks a little good. I like the little gold paint app there, um, and just the the, the kind of like picking out of red and what have you. Uh, the light piping is pretty solid, so um, I always like the uh, the the Waspinator head. So uh, nothing to go wrong there. Uh, obviously, I mean it's just the exact same as Waspinator, so there's really not a whole lot to go over. The black and gold is nice. I'm glad they went with gold and not yellow. Um, black and gold is just a good color combination, regardless. Let's see if we can get this out good god all right um still the kind of dumb looking gun i never really liked this uh this blaster but you know hey it is what it is i know there's like upgrade kits and stuff like that out there for the the waspinator and everything and that's all well and good um problems uh that i had with the waspinator still uh, mold still kind of stand uh, i don't feel like this robot mode locks together as solidly as the uh, generations one does but otherwise like i don't feel like there's anything extra loose or there's any more you know degradation or anything like that for what's essentially like the third release of this guy so uh it's so a pretty solid and just because they came packed together uh, let's just uh, show them off so very uh black and purple vibes uh here for these two and then obviously there had there was like gold bug and um the g1 insecticon so but uh pretty cool pretty cool nonetheless so i really do dig these guys i feel like these could be like like a little team of their own so anyways they'll, they'll find a spot on the shelf let's keep going all right so next up is the buzzworthy pterosaur he came single packed and i think a lot of people were really excited about this just because of uh 
the lack of availability of the Amazon uh, exclusive Pterosaur, which is more show accurate, and this is definitely a more toy accurate deco, but I think anyone that's just kind of like wanting it on the shelf was pretty excited. Um, that said, I mean, given a choice, I would obviously choose the Amazon one just because I think it looks better with the rest of the Kingdom toys um, that are meant to like represent the uh, the show characters. Uh, but if you missed out on that one, um, this dude being, you know, whatever it is, $25, um, hard to complain about, um, you know, all, you know, again, just all things considered, you could probably, um, you know, if you're decent with like painting and stuff like that, uh, customize them up into a more show accurate pterosaur. But, um, anyways, I do like the toy accurate colors just cause I mean, that's what I was used to for, uh, 25, 30 years, something like that, so, uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool nonetheless, just a little, you know, nostalgic trip, um, and, uh, overall, like, pretty happy, uh, we ended up getting this guy, um, the pterodactyl mode isn't terrible, of course, I have the gun stored here, at least they have some weapon storage, and then the little, uh, little spikes down here kind of act as some decent little feet stabilizers, so, uh, you do get that, as an option, uh, just don't forget to cut them out of the little tissue in the back of the box. Um, that's just how they're packing things now. So yeah, let's take a look at him in robot mode. All right, here we have the Trader's Boy himself in robot mode and still looking sharp, man. Like, you know, yeah, there's the blue plastic here in the ankles and the hands. Um, again, I feel like that's something that can just be like totally um, painted up or dyed or something like that if you wanted to sort of like get them to, you know, match a more like you know, toy accurate, or no, not toy accurate, show, show accurate color, but I do love these toy accurate colors, again, like, um, just because, like, he, he is so close to looking to Pterosaur, but not quite being Pterosaur, I may kind of have him as, like, a, like, a Pterosaur drone, or just a, a clone, or something like that, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of options, but I do try to display, uh, all these, uh, Kingdom figures, kind of, like, with each other, um, and, you know, we got, like, the, the, uh, the Black Arachnia repaint out of Buzzworthy Bumblebee, and I, um, I kind of like display that as like my, you know, quote unquote maximal black arachnia. So I don't know. I'll figure something out with this dude, but I do think he looks sharp. I love the attention to detail, uh, that they kept to the original toy, especially on that beautiful noggin. Um, just, just sharp all around. But again, if you miss the boat on the more show accurate, uh, Amazon exclusive, uh, you know, I, I think like this is, this is a solid pickup, uh, for that. Um, I feel like these wings are, you know, they popped out a lot on the Amazon one, but like, I have not had that issue at all, um, with, with this one. Now, obviously the ankles are still a little loose. That is something that's easily remedied though. So I personally wouldn't worry there. I love this, just this remold in general. I think it looks great. I think it worked great as Pterosaur and as Air Razor, and I loved it as Skywarp. So, um, it is a, a fun figure. It's got great posability. Uh, you really can't go wrong there. Obviously, weapon storage can still be maintained, kind of, uh, right there on the on the side. It kind of kicks the thigh forward a little bit, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, and obviously he can hold it, and uh, again, be careful with these little uh, side fin pieces. I also like this, you know, detail here the Predacon symbol on the forearm. I think that turned out looking pretty sharp. And, uh, and yeah, like I, uh, I think like my only thing now is just give us fractal. Like I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for fractal out of this. Um, I think that needs to be the next thing that happens. So anyways, uh, that is a uh, buzzworthy pterosaur and let's get on to the next one. All right. There he is. That boy, the love of my life. Um, so I was, uh, I was, I was really excited, uh, to see, um, I, I think what they're calling raw chicken Dinobot in the, the Buzzworthy line. And again, shout out to Mike. He, uh, I was like, I was like, dude, I need, I need, I think, I think I got two of them. I don't know if I got two or three. I think it was two. I'm pretty sure it was two. Cause I didn't want to keep it sealed. Cause there's no like, uh, window, uh, on, on the window package or, you know, on the, the box or whatever. So I was like, yeah, just give me two. And I don't like the Bumble, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging art anyways. I think it's just a gaudy color and. I don't know, I just don't dig it, but, um, but yeah, super excited to get Toy Colors Dinobot, um, some people have been talking about some discoloration, I have not noticed, um, anything different from whenever I, you know, kind of took it out, now, I, I will tell you that the skin tones don't quite, ma the skin tones don't quite match up the, the various pieces of raw chicken meat, 
um, are a little different, but I don't quite think that's uh, due to discoloration. I just think it's just because of the material. Um, that said, it is subject to that kind of uh, gross um, uh, discoloration that we have been seeing. So I don't know. Your your mileage may vary, and and I just may be dumb. But uh, anyways, that's both of those things entirely possible. So real quick, we do get the red painted on the tongue here. Still got the goofy no front teeth look there. Um, but yeah, pretty solid. I do wish they would have exaggerated these stripes a little bit more to be a little more accurate to the original Toy Deco, but otherwise it's fine. I mean, I really can't, um, in good conscience, like complain too terribly much about it. So anyways, that is that this will, you know, toy, toy color Dinobot will always hold a special place in my heart. Cause I didn't think it existed for, you know, um, 15 years. Um, obviously uh figuring out that you know beast wars grimlock was not beast wars dinobot uh you know 90s toys i've told the story a million times anyways let's take a look at him in robot mode all right so here is chicken bot in his robot mode and like it's wild to me that finally the third release of the mold it just looks the best like in i mean and i mean that in a like obviously like if you're not super into Toy Colors Dinobot, you're not going to like this. Um, but in terms of, like, there's no weird shit going on here with the legs. Like, half of the foot isn't painted one color. Half of the knee isn't painted another color. Um, you know, just stuff like that. Like, um, I think they, they did a, a great um, color layout choice with, like, this uh, paint app in here. Making it, you know, that same kind of orange to, you know, replicate what was obviously... The, the translucent bit on the original uh, Toy Dinobot, stuff like that. I do think that they went a little too dark um, here. Like, so, um, I, I, wanna, I don't know if I if I ever uh, actually put it on camera, but um, at BotCon this year, uh, in 2022, I guess I should specify for uh, um, anyone that watches this however many years in the future, um, I, I do have a pre-production uh, subtle flex of a... Uh, uh, Beast Wars Dinobot, the original one, that um, used a darker, almost kind of black, same that's that's done here, and um, also has like a darker color scheme on the helmet. Like, like again, this draws very heavily uh, from that particular uh, pre-production sample, and less from the uh, more you know kind of earthy, uh, dark, muddy browns of um, the the actual like released product. Um, that said, I'm pretty sure there's there's pictures uh, on Facebook and things like that, and um, I, I might end up uh, doing some photos to compare the two, uh, just to put on my Facebook or Twitter or whatever. But anyways, it's neither here nor there. Otherwise, I think they just I think they handled this one like with more care than the other two, which is super unfortunate, man, because I really wanted that Grimlock to be perfect. Um, I I, I kind of like some of the creative liberties they took there, but. The pinstriped, you know, legs and feet is just kind of where I draw the line. Uh, that said, also, like, we get uh, this white paint on this sword. They really could have just left it pink because the original one was pink. I don't know if it's just something where they were like, oh, well, we have to, you know, deco the sword. And that's just what they ultimately decided to do. Uh, but they also painted uh, the inside of the shield red. Like, this just all around is... um. The, the Beast Wars Dinobot that was just handled with more care. We also have, um, you know, the, the, the little nails right here uh, painted, which, you know, again, um, they could have done on the, the retail. I really do hope that we get uh, a re-release of the retail Dinobot um, with kind of like a premium deco on it, maybe in some kind of a multi-pack or, or something like that. I mean, they do like to do that kind of stuff. Um, I wouldn't be too terribly upset about it. Um, mostly because like I want it and I feel like this mold really can shine. Um, but they just need to, they just really like needed to work on like the deco layout. They tried doing too much. Um, and I feel like this is just the right amount. And, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we get something like that. Uh, again, my, most of my problems here are with the colors being more of that prototype Dinobot and less of the production one. But you know, some people may dig that. And if they do, um, I hope they enjoy it. So, anyways, that's it for Dinobot. Let's move on. All right, so here's the meat and potatoes of this review. This is the uh, Wave 2 Deluxe Tarantulas. This thing is phenomenal. 
I really was blown away because like it is a fairly simple figure. Um and and I think that's that's a okay. Uh I would not be mad at all if this is like the working template for any future, you know, masterpiece tarantulas. Uh I would love to have this in the orange prototype colors. Uh I feel like that's just such an easy thing for them to be able to do uh, in the future. Um I definitely feel like this is also prime for some remolding into doing a potential transmetal. But I do love um, the fact that we get uh, weapon storage. He comes with two weapons, obviously one that homages his transmetal uh, saw blade and then his more proper kind of like hook um, weapon, the serrated hook weapon thing there. Uh, so I do, I do like that. I do like the weapon storage. Uh, that said, he really doesn't have weapon storage in robot mode, which I guess we'll get into when we get into robot mode. But otherwise like man i think this is i think this is a solid solid release i just love how everything locks in particularly here and and here and it's just uh well this one maybe could use a little a little extra loving but anyways it, it was just really fun it was just a really fun transformation as you can see like the legs could you know uh support him uh and then you can obviously kind of lay him a little more flat uh where he does i don't think he's i don't think he's quite touching the bottom there so um, you kind of do, do a lot of things with it. Uh, I think the colors look great. This is by far the best tarantulas, um, we've ever gotten, uh, so far, so far. So let's take a look at him in robot mode. All right, here's tarantulas in robot mode. And honestly, like that, it really is something I could have done uh, on camera just cause it is a super simple transformation, but I really don't like, um, kind of going through that. I feel like that's kind of like the, the spoiler of the toy, right? Um, is, is kind of going through that and experience it on your own yada 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 that's why i don't do them anymore so uh so anyways like let's i guess let's let's kind of let's kind of go over some of this articulation so he has kind of like a reverse butterfly which is again mostly because of trans transformation it doesn't really lock in um but i think that's uh, ultimately okay um the backpack cleans up quite nicely in my opinion obviously it's just sort of like sitting here but that's how it was in the show so i really can't complain too much about that obviously no like shell kibble that was one of the cooler things about um you know just the original tarantulas toy and, and design and stuff like that is it wasn't really like a shell former like um you know the the the, the figure itself like kind of integrated or, or the animal itself kind of integrated into the robot mode um that head sculpt is perfect i, I really really do like that head sculpt uh maybe um hopefully if we get the like orange prototype colors or maybe even the horror con um color scheme we could get like a uh like the, like the more toy accurate head i think that would be pretty cool even though technically it also came on black arachnia um i just i just think that would I think that'd be neat um weapons so again there's this like saw blade thing so you can put it um in this hand as like a a melee weapon of sorts you can have him hold it as a shooting disc weapon of sorts uh and you can combine it um with this uh weapon if if you so choose um you can rotate it however i think the instructions want you to do it this way but to do that he'll hold it but he like essentially loses um his elbow articulation there so i don't particularly like uh that as an option uh clearly he can hold the more you know uh, season one accurate weapon there uh there is no proper storage however because of this like hollow uh backpack back here you really truthfully can just wiggle this thing in here in such a way that it won't fall out um believe it or not uh, I'll, I'll get i'll do it eventually um i did it once but uh, or I should say where it won't fall out like super, super easily. Let's, let's go with that. But yeah, unfortunately there's just no, there's no weapon storage. Like there's no proper weapon storage. And I feel like that is somewhere that Beast Wars, um, you know, shined uh, to me at least, and especially like as a kid, like I just, I love, I love weapon storage, but anyways, and you could, you could probably take this and let's see, maybe wedge it in here at a, at a certain way, um, you know, it's not, it's not a super ideal, um, situation. Yeah, you really can't do much with that one, uh, which is unfortunate, but, uh, I'm gonna have him holding this, uh, regardless, and then maybe with the saw blade out of there, you could probably wedge that, uh, in there a little bit better, but, uh, but there you go, 
um, as far as like if you just don't want him holding the combined weapon or or what have you. So uh, Tarantulas is great. De definitely pick up Tarantulas. I feel like a lot of people are just kind of uh, try to complete that um, that season one character cast, especially like with Inferno on the way too. You know, it's getting it's getting real close. You know, kind of the the stuff I feel like maybe we should have gotten out of out of Kingdom. And we could have gotten some cooler stuff like Polar Claw uh, in Legacy, but anyways there he is uh so yeah let's get them all in here for a group shot and uh do a little final thoughts get out of here. Oh, <clears throat> all right so here we have um excuse me here we have the uh the, the kind of full lineup of your quote-unquote wave two even though technically like all of it is from buzzworthy bumblebee which is you know it, it is what it is I'm, I'm glad we got them instead of not getting them um more or less uh, and it's very Predacon heavy, which like I'm ultimately kind of okay with. And like this is uh, obviously more of a Maximal Dinobot based off the toy, which was a Maximal, where the Kingdom one is definitely a Predacon, and and I do display him with the Predacons from Kingdom, so I do like that, you know, as as like an option uh, to have uh, on uh, the display shelf. Obviously, the Horrorcon uh, Waspinator slash. Uh, uh, Sky Wasp is great. Um, just to, again, just kind of have put them, put them with the rest, the rest of the gang over there. Uh, Toy Scorponok, I feel like maybe that's a take or leave. You know, if, if you just really dig those colors, I mean, and it's, it's a gorgeous translucent purple plastic on it. But uh, man, I feel like if you've got you know Sandstorm and the Kingdom release, like you're not really missing out on a whole lot with that. The Pterosaur is definitely also um, a solid pickup, especially if you don't have that Amazon one. Uh, although I personally would still be trying to get that Amazon one just because it's, you know, uh, more show accurate. But Tarantulas here really is aces. Um, you know, obviously, like, we, we also have, like, a four to one uh, bad guy ratio here. And, and I love uh, the bad guy. I feel like at this point there are probably technically more Predacons than there are Maximals at this point. I'd have to do, like, a, like a recount. But I think, like, between, you know, repaints um, and all that, we do have more bad guys, which I also kind of dig. And we got two more on the way that we know of. So uh, this is a pretty solid uh, wave of toys. I do I do like it, and uh, I'm super happy that uh, they're still doing it. Maybe, hopefully, um, the, the second chapter of Legacy will give us some cool stuff like Polar Claw. Maybe some more Transmetals and Transmetal 2s. I love my Transmetal 2s. I'd love to see more of those. Are getting Dragon Megatron, so um, that is also something to like get pretty excited for, I think. But anyways, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box. Yada yada yada. Uh, I'll see y'all later.